Hey guys, it's Andrea and today I'm coming at you with a plan with me in my A5 wide cloud inserts and I am super excited to show you guys this spread. I think it turned out super, super cute. So this is the Christmas party kit. I believe it's still in shop. I don't actually know when I'm uploading this video because I feel like I have a lot of videos planned, but actually maybe next week because I changed my like life around. So I'm using this kit. I had this custom designed because Nick and Kirsten's birthday both fell on this week and I know a lot of people's birthdays obviously fall near Christmas, on Christmas, Christmas months, or just in general in times where you want to be using a Christmas kit. So I think this turned out really nice and I love the colors of it. I really love the like, um, like teal aqua color as well as that hot pink. I really wanted to use a lot of that color in the spread when it came to the functional items. Um, I decided to use Sparkly Hollow. I was really up in the air between doing a mixed metal moment or doing Sparkly Hollow. I think that it looks really good with either, but I asked Jess, that's what I go down to. I'm like, I'm an asthma friend, I need help. And she said to do Sparkly Hollow, so I decided to do that. I actually did end up using the Sparkly Star Hollow, which is in the shop in the like previous slash last most recent foil bundles. I mean, I've only released one or two, if depending on when you see this video, um, of the new ones. So it's of the last kind, the last of its kind. And I think it turned out really pretty. I love the foil that is the sparkly hollow with the stars mixed in and especially in the star format. And I also had some stuff from Sadie stickers, which had a very similar sparkly hollow star foil. So I thought that they worked really well together. And I also pulled in some of the sparkly hollow matte, the new label sampler, the most recent one that has like the movie marquee, because I knew this week that I had some movie related things to put in to my plans as well. And then I also did grab, they were order freebies at the time, those small label samplers, the small matte ones that come, um, well, were coming with orders, like every order got one in a random foil color. I got a bunch from work and I decided that I wanted to use those in the spread as well. And I really am glad that Sparkly Hollow was what I went with because I think it looks fantastic, especially with like blues and like greens. I feel like Sparkly Hollow, like it does something special in purples. I think it's just, it's out of this world. So I did do a lot of extender kind of fun times because I wanted to use a lot of the boxes. I had big plans to initially just do this Merry Birthday box and I have been really loving using just the full box extenders that are just the size of a full box. They do like bulk up a little bit less and I think I should do like an updated extender box video just because I feel like there's like more tips and tricks I could give you guys. So that's something that you guys want to see. Let me know in the comments down below, but I did do a Merry Birthday double box and I put uh, like a dude and then a girl on the other side to kind of symbolize Kirsten and Nick, even though they don't look like that, but I just thought it would be cute. And then I wasn't planning on doing another extender, but I thought I really want to use these kidders and, you know, you got a baby and like a toddler slash Bennett age kid. So I was like, let's go ahead and do this. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out really cute and I love these colors. I just think the pink and that like teal, like aqua -y color are just every single thing. So dang beautiful. So as far as the plans go for this week, I'm going to just give you guys kind of a little bit of the highlights. I know that it won't like line up with what I'm doing in the spread, but I hope you can forgive me and yeah. So on Monday I got Starbucks and then I designed the Oristel B6 monthly kit. I think it turned out really cute. We did get some Wendy's for lunch and then in the evening I did make a gingerbread house with Bennett, which is his first gingerbread house he ever made and it is so cute. It is still sitting in our kitchen and then I just had some time with the boys and I did use Sparkly Hollow scripts and Sparkly Hollow like add-ons and things like that if I didn't have them in the star Sparkly Hollow. So what I like to do when I plan by myself is I really love to put down all of the labels for the day first. Um, just so I can get the base down and then pick my character stickers. I tried this week to stick to mostly sparkly hollow icons, sparkly star hollow icons, and then like Christmas stickers. I only use a couple of stickers out of those categories. On Tuesday, it was Kirsten's birthday, so I did put that on top, and then we told her we would pick her up uh, lunch and bring it over to work because she was working, and we did pick her up Jinya, 
and we got fly right because it's like right next to Jinya and it was super easy just to order them both for the same time and then I did go over to work to give Kirsten her present I did get her a Gucci belt and that was initially her Christmas present but they're actually closing the Gucci store so I wanted to give it to her early just in case it didn't fit or she didn't like the buckle size and thank goodness I did because she actually wanted a smaller buckle size so we went over and exchanged that and then I did work some more. I think I did at home computer work and then we got Velvet Taco for dinner. This was like the week of eating out. I've been definitely like cutting back a lot on eating out uh, ish but it's just like I'm always so tired I feel like I've been working a lot and I just am like Bleh. so that's my excuse and then we watched mama's boy or it's like I've been in love with the mama's boy but I'm just gonna always call it mama's boy and then on Wednesday I had Starbucks I made all of the d -sash boxes and that took for forever so I put it in a big long tall box uh, we got north for lunch and then I stopped at Aritzia to pick up some clothing items and then I had Chewies for dinner and did some massive cuddles in the evening. On Thursday, we got Starbucks and Chick-fil-A in the morning and then I went to work and I had a bunch of appointments and I just put that in because I didn't have much else to put in and we got Cabo Bob's for lunch and then Disney like announced so many new items, items, serieses? movies all the things so I wanted to put that in my planner because it was definitely an overwhelming but exciting experience and then Nick and I watched holiday which was like ridiculous and like it's like yeah it's fine it's like whatever um and then on Friday I listened to Evermore all day so I went ahead and put that in I really have been loving this album and then also the last Taylor Swift album why is the like name of it not coming to my head anyways y'all know what it is and then I did some computer work this is the day that I gave Nick all of his Christmas presents so I did rent out a theater at the Alamo Draft House they've been doing like I feel like pretty affordable um theater rentals like during the pandemic so you get the whole theater to yourself. Alamo has smaller theaters so realistically there's not a ton of seats in the theater we rented out but it was just us and it was so nice to be able to do something like semi-normal in like a safe way so I surprised him with that. He had no idea it was coming and we watched Back to the Future. It's one of his favorite movies and the only other option of a movie that I thought was safe that he might want to watch again because they're not doing any really new releases obviously um, was Goonies but we actually have recently watched Goonies at the Alamo Draft House like maybe a year ago so I was like let's do Back to the Future because we've I don't think we've ever like watched it in theaters so we went and watched that and he loved it he was so happy and then I did have Burger King for dinner I think and then I did give Nick his other present which I did order a bunch of cameos from 90 Day Fiance like our favorites and I compiled like a video and I was kind of worried that he wouldn't like it but he actually loved it he says it's one of the favorite presents he's ever like gotten from me or anybody and it made me really happy I love giving presents like I love giving gifts I love making people happy I love like listening to people and being like oh my god I'm gonna get them that they're gonna love it so much and I just like me I don't even really like getting presents tbh like it's I don't really care at all like it's nice obviously and I like appreciate the thought but I prefer to give gifts so I was really happy that he loved both of his presents and he's definitely more of an experienced person than an actual physical gift person I did also get him physical gifts for Christmas um so it's like always hard especially when people's birthdays Kirsten and Nick are so close to Christmas um and then I did watch The Mandalorian with him because it was like his birthday eve so um i watched a couple episodes of the mandalorian i don't really care about star wars but like i'm in the know i guess and i just think the baby yoga yoga yoda what's his name groku or something i don't i don't freaking know he's cute he reminds me of theo and then on saturday it was nick's 29th birthday and bennett and i did go to target really early in the morning and then we went and wrapped nick's like presents from bennett like i let him pick out a couple of things we wrapped them in the garage together and then um, my in-laws came over in the evening we got eddie v's prime seafood for dinner which we I don't think we've ever had before, but we got it for it to go. It was actually pretty good. And then we watched Mama's Boy, which is I love my Ma Mama's Boy. I don't know, but it's it's interesting. We did wake up early on Sunday and we got snooze for breakfast to go. Uh, we just ordered it and then Nick went and picked it up. And then we did go 
to see the new house. I did mention it on my personal Instagram that we've been building a house. We've been built, it's been like in the works for like over a year now, which is insane. Uh, but obviously COVID threw a huge like wrench in like all of the plans, but you know, we're not in any rush, but it's just been a long process for sure. And definitely different than any other process we've ever went through. Um, but we got to see the house with drywall, which was really exciting because I feel like you start to see things come together and Bennett was very excited to see kind of like everything and you know, it was it was nice and I was really, really excited and I'm just in general excited about it. So hopefully we'll be moving in maybe like March, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. I'm kind of realistic, so probably not, but like it's fine. And then Theo was so cranky. He's been always such a good boy in cars as far as like, you know, being cool. But like recently he's been not excited, but I think it's because he's crawling and like scaling and he wants to be like up and doing things. We did get a cherry slushy on the way home for me and Bennett, which Bennett hasn't has had a slushy since like Disney. So he was really excited about that. We got Velvet Taco for dinner. I started playing Animal Crossing again this night and I watched 90 Day and went to bed. So that's everything for this week. I hope you guys like this video. I know it was short. Um, but I hope you guys liked it nevertheless and hopefully I'll be back soon with kind of more like talk through plan with these, you know, whenever life gets a little bit like less crazy with the holidays and stuff. So I hope that you guys have a great week, month, year, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!